Hey guys, Shauna here. Today, I want to share our experience with distance-based learning through Texas Tech University. I have my notes here, so I apologize if I'm looking down. Our homeschooling journey began um, when our little one was pretty young, pretty young in preschool. I have no idea why I was so driven to homeschool her. It doesn't quite make any sense. I wasn't homeschooled. I don't know anyone at the time who homeschools. I don't know why I was, I was really pushed or called to want to homeschool my child. She seemed to be ahead of her preschool class and her age level, and we really wanted to keep her that way. Um, she seemed to be a pretty active child who wasn't gonna sit still, but she did do very well in preschool and her teacher called her a dream. I can't, I am unsure why. I was, I was very driven from pretty early on to really want to investigate homeschooling. Uh, my husband, however, uh, was not. It is something that, you know, he considered it odd, uh, definitely an exception. Why would you do that when public school is available? We're not teachers, we don't know what we're doing. Uh, you know, he had many concerns. How would this translate to college? Uh, a lot of concerns that many, many parents have when they're starting out. And it's also a lot of the same questions that you're gonna get from people who don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. We did a lot of research, a lot of research. And one of my husband's big concerns was the fact that if we homeschooled, uh, you know, she wouldn't be receiving credit. How would we know she's on par with public school? Like, um, how would we keep her on pace? I mean, he had some serious reservations that were absolutely justified to have, you know, before you learn more. So we looked around and we so greatly struggled to find a homeschooling program that really fit with what we were looking for. Uh, we are not homeschooling because we are very concerned about the information that gets to our children. We do, do believe in evolution. Uh, we struggled so hard to find a secular homeschooling curriculum. Something that I did come across was Texas Tech University Independent School District. So we are located in Texas. Texas Tech University has a K through 12 program. It's structured just like a school district would be uh, in any city in the state. And it is entirely distance based. So it is structured the same as a public school. However, there is not a school that your child goes to. So we, you know, had many questions and we contacted the staff to learn more information about their program. They were wonderful to work with. They answered all of our questions. Uh, they took time and it was actually during the time of Harvey floods here in Houston area. They took time um, out of their busy schedule. They're located in a very different part of the state. It's about five hours away. And uh, she sat on the phone with us and just answered all of our questions. It aligned with everything that we were hoping. By choosing this program, our daughter was officially a, uh, a public school kid. She just didn't go to school. Uh, so she still received, you know, all of the benefits, all of the, you know, classifications of being in school like she would be if we just sent her to a public school. Uh, one of the benefits is that they compile the curriculum that is on standard with the state requirements and they send it to you. So it's all kind of packaged and taken care of and it arrives at your door. So that's a, a great thing and it was wonderful way for us to get our feet wet and, and kind of learn as we went about this entire homeschooling journey. So the staff structure at Texas Tech University ISD is that, you know, you the parent are with your child in your home and you are teaching them the material. The material has been compiled and put together by your contact. So it's the person that you send work that needs to be graded to. And that is a teacher. And then that teacher works in partnership with like a counselor. And that's the person that helps handle your registration, textbooks, things like that. Okay, so some of the things that we liked about the Texas Tech University ISD program was that it was fully accredited through the state. So there was no question, no issues of her being considered for public school. At any point, we could transfer right in without having to test her or meet any special requirements because she 
was officially a registered public school student in the state of Texas. It provided us with wonderful training wheels because we did not know what we were doing and we did not know how to find the resources. And I want to say, you know, four years ago, there were a lot less secular options. I just feel like there was no way, I didn't find any. So now having more experience, it absolutely served its purpose as far as helping us gain the confidence to branch out in our homeschooling journey. We knew that she was being kept on par with her public school counterparts. So we knew that she was right where she needed to be for her age and grade level. So that was very reassuring. The staff were wonderful to work with and helped with anything, any question or concern that we had. And it was nice being able to, you know, administer a test to her and then send that off for someone else to take care of the grading. That was kind of a nice, a nice step in our parent student relationship as far as homeschooling went because I wasn't responsible you know if she passed or failed that was on her she needed to study because someone else was was taking care of it her teacher so there was still that kind of title assigned to someone else so the things that we did not like about the Texas Tech University program. The number one thing we really didn't like was the curriculum. So it arrived at our door and it was a binder for every subject for every semester. So we got eight binders loaded with 150 days of what to do, the worksheets, every single bit of material was printed out and put in these binders. I can't tell you how much that box weighed when it came. And it was a an essential script of exactly what to do and what to say and how to do it. The curriculum, the way that it's presented, creates an exceptional amount of waste. There was so many trees shoved into that box and then binders that I inquired about how to send them back so they could reuse them and never got a great answer. So I have a horde of binders in various sizes that I am trying to reuse for just everything. One of the things that we did not like about the course is that it was expensive. So we already pay public school taxes. We are essentially paying double so that she could attend a different public school with none of the facilities or amenities of that. So the cost was $225 per course per semester. So that was $1,800 just in tuition, which didn't count, you know, registration fees, administrative fees. I believe now they have a fee to print the courses to send them to you, which I'm glad they've kind of cut back on that. So it's $1,800 before you are responsible for buying every single bit of books, just like if you were in college, how you are responsible for your textbooks. So then it's like another five or $600 a year in textbooks not to mention supplies and other things that you'll need. So it was quite expensive. Comparatively to what we use now, I spend maybe $900 on a year for the elite timber doodle kits that come with everything and everything fancy for the complete year. One of the things that we did not like about the curriculum was that they took a public school curriculum and gave me a single serve copy of it. Public school curriculums do not translate to a single student environment. So I went through many lessons with her because you would be trying to poll your classmates. We don't have any. Uh, lots of things where it talked about group work and having your friends help you out. We homeschool in our home, there's one of you. I'm so sorry. This curriculum just none of the choices translated to a single student environment. And so it definitely was not best serving us. All of that, not to mention, despite being responsible for purchasing our own textbooks every year, the textbooks were grossly outdated. They, um, and it's, it's just like you would imagine in a public school where the textbooks are 10 years old. Um, I checked just before filming and the kindergarten language arts curriculum is based on a, a book published in 2010. That was 10 years ago. That's older than both of my kids. When my daughter used her language arts book in first grade, it referenced a standardized test here in Texas that is not the current test, and if I'm not mistaken, is not the last standardized test that was used. So it is severely outdated curriculum. 
again, despite me being responsible for finding and buying it every year. The curriculum also had exceptionally low standards, in my opinion, for my child, which is where homeschooling comes in very handy is that I can tailor the things she's ahead or behind on to suit her needs. By choosing the Texas Tech University program and it being based entirely on a public school model, I didn't have that option. I could do supplemental things, but her actual coursework was based on the public school standard, which I found to be quite low and quite lacking, especially in her math program. In her math program, at the end of first grade, she still had not been made to do any kind of memorization of basic addition facts or any kind of math problem that, that was vertical, you know, like, like seven plus three with a line equals 10. It, that had not yet come up and I felt like that was very odd and did not care for that, not one bit. It was really the final push, I think, that helped us look for something else. We were not happy during our second year. We used the Texas Tech program for two years. We were not happy with it the second year. Another thing that we didn't care for, for with the Texas Tech program is that because it is a public school program, you, um, you have to take the standardized tests which I know in some states, homeschoolers are required to do that, but not in Texas. We weren't there yet. I don't think it starts till about third grade and we only finished first with them. But as it approached, it became more and more clear that that was something that, to, you know, if we didn't have to do it, we certainly didn't want to do it because we'd have to schedule an appointment with our local school district here because again, the Texas Tech campus or Texas Tech offices were five hours away. So I'd have to schedule her into a public school near us, getting all the special permission required and then she would be made to go sit there with those people she's never met in a place she's never been to take a standardized test she doesn't need. It seemed really not worth the energy struggle not being a necessity. We also, um, not for kindergarten, but we did for first, uh, at the end of the year, we had to find and arrange having her final exams of first grade administered by a proctor. And the proctor couldn't be anyone related, even though we have a couple teachers in the family, that would have been handy. So fortunately, we have a friend who's a public school teacher and, and that friend had to basically apply and get approved and they sent the materials to her and, and we met up and she tested Amelia and she took the test stuff with her and mailed it in to get final grades. Um, so I'm thankful we knew someone, but if you don't, you might have to like, I don't even know how you find a professional proctor. I guess I would find out that information if I needed to know it. But that was just another whole line of hassle that seemed excessive, being that we don't have to do that here in Texas. What we learned using the Texas Tech ISD program is that we can do this on our own. They offer the distance-based program, and if that is something that you want or need, or you feel like you're over your head, or maybe this is just a great way, much in the same way that we used it, to get your feet wet and to understand how this world works if you don't have a homeschooling community yet. If you don't have the confidence, please, by all means, I highly recommend this pro this product for those situations. We just didn't find that it was best serving us. It wasn't best serving our family. It wasn't best serving our child or our circumstances. So we definitely looked around for a change, but it served us when we needed it to. We never would have been able to start homeschooling on our own at the place that we were with the information that we had at the time. So I am so thankful that it served as kind of um, a half step instead of a full jump into homeschooling because it gave us those training wheels that we needed at that time to become better homeschoolers and better, more informed parents on the entire situation. Uh, now I am very passionate about homeschooling and sharing the information that I have, especially from that secular standpoint, because that's a voice that's just not heard enough. So I absolutely would recommend Texas Tech University ISD for all of the reasons I just mentioned. I can say though that you are already in a much better boat than we were in having found this video. I never found a solid secular resource before we started out. I was so thankful when I finally did learn the information that we needed to really full on nosedive into being kind of, my husband and I joke, rogue, fully unaccredited homeschoolers here 
year. You know, we use Texas Tech for kinder and first with our oldest. With second, we switched to Timberdoodle kits and we did not have any doubt that we were gonna continue to do that. They've worked so well. We have definitely found our sweet spot right now and I'm hoping it doesn't go away too soon. Uh, this coming year we'll be starting with two kids. So we'll have our Timberdoodle kits for both of them. We're gonna start our little one pre-K and go from there. Uh, we do our best to reevaluate frequently, which is how we knew that the Texas Tech program was not gonna work any longer for our family and our needs. So please, if you are looking for any help, comment down below. If you have any resources to offer, please share because it is always so helpful to get different perspectives and to have that homeschool community. I really appreciate you being here. If you have found any of this entertaining or informative, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the little bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that it should suggest it and support it. We appreciate you so much here and we look forward to our next chat here on Making Everyday Magic. Oh,